Hi, I am Topon Chakraborty. Welcome to my channel Fly with Topon, where I discuss aviation and space related topics. If you are interested to know about this world, then please subscribe now and hit the bell icon. Every Tuesday, I upload an interesting video. Making a safe landing is the most crucial and skillful flying activities of a pilot. At the same time, no other flying activities give so much satisfaction to a pilot than to make a safe and smooth landing, especially during adverse conditions when visibility is very, very poor. His own life and the life of all passengers depend on his professionalism. So many incidents and accidents occur during landing. To make the landing safe comes the Instrument Landing System or ILS. ILS doesn't mean the landing. It guides the pilot to make a correct landing approach. To realize the importance of Instrument Landing System or ILS, let's see the runway from the cockpit during the landing approach of an aircraft. A sunny day with good visibility. But sometimes it can be like this. Or even like this. There are basically two pieces of information which Instrument Landing System or ILS provides to the pilot. First, provide information to align his aircraft with the center axis of runway. It is done by localizer. Second, to maintain a correct angle of approach on the touchdown point, done by glide slope. We will discuss both of them one by one. Align the aircraft with the center axis of runway. The center line of runway are marked with white paint. The pilot has to align his aircraft with the center line during approach and land on it, so that during long landing run, the aircraft remain on the runway. Small deviation may lead the aircraft out of runway. Steering the aircraft for correction after landing at high speed is not an easy task. To solve this problem, consider a very high intensity red light beam spread horizontally from the other end of the runway, focused towards the approaching aircraft. Now, if the aircraft is within the beam, the pilot can see the light and can approach. And when he is out of the beam, he won't be able to see the light. Here is one problem. When he is out of the beam, he doesn't know whether to go to left or to right for adjustment. So, let us rearrange the light. Now, there are two lights. They will focus towards the approaching aircraft. One is red and another is green. The red light is on the left and green light is on the right. These two lights in combination cover a wide range of area. Now during landing approach, if pilot is able to see the only red light, that means he has to move to the right. Or in other hand, if he is able to see only the green light, he has to move towards left. And there is an overlapping portion and the center line of this is in the line with the runway center line. Only when he is able to see both the lights, he is in correct approach. Now here is another problem. When visibility of the runway is poor, the pilot can't see the light either. To solve this problem, the complete light arrangement is replaced by radio frequency transmitter on runway. Mind you, poor visibility doesn't affect the performance of radio frequency. To receive the signal, instead of human eye, there is a receiver in the aircraft. 150 megahertz on left and 90 megahertz on right. The same way there is a narrow overlapping portion. The center line of that is in line with the center line of the runway. Now during approach, in case the aircraft is in the left of the runway, it will receive the 150 megahertz signal. If it is in the right, it will receive the 90 megahertz signal. Only if it is in the center, it will receive both the signal in equal strength. All this signal will be modulated and display in the instrument panel in front of the pilot like this. This is a combined deviation indicator or CDI in the instrument panel. In this instrument, pilot can see the aircraft position with respect to the runway. In the center, there is a cross figure and here is one more line called follow me line or deviation bar. When the aircraft position is on the left of the runway, the CDI instrument indicate this way. Now for correction, pilot has to fly towards the right so that vertical line and the deviation bar coincide. On other hand, 
when air cut is on the right of the runway, it will look like this. For correction, he has to fly towards left, align these two lines. And this is how pilot aligned his aircraft with the center line of the runway. Now let's see the vertical adjustment or the glide slope. For this, there is one radio transmitter installed by the side of the runway, here. It is around 1000 feet inside the runway and around 500 feet from the edge of the runway. Just like localizer, it also transmits two set of radio frequency signals. But this time it is vertical, 150 MHz at the bottom and 90 MHz on the top. The same way there is a overlapping area. And the center line of it is at 3 degree angle with the runway from the touchdown point. In the instrument, there is another follow me bar or deviation bar, but this time it is horizontal. Now, if during landing approach, if pilot is flying below the glide slope, in instrument it will appear like this. By seeing the instrument, he can adjust the course this way. Now, let us see the vertical and horizontal combined radio signal. Now, if the aircraft position is here during approach, the instrument will show like this. Now, for correction, the pilot has to move to this direction. Another situation. Even due to poor visibility, Pilot may not be able to see the runway from the far away, but if he is following his instrument precisely, he is heading correctly. When run will come into the vicinity, he will find himself in a perfect position, and then he can land manually by seeing the runway. If you feel the information I shared with you is valuable and interesting, then please consider subscribing to my channel.